I get goosebumps when I think over 9,000 nurses showed up to vote today. Of that 9,000 nurses, the Minnesota nurses have spoken. Patient care is number one. 90%, over 90% at each facility have authorized a one-day strike for patient care. is important today because we are working towards a safer environment for our patients. Um, that's our key priority right now. It's not all about money, it's about our patient safety. For the nurses, this has been going on for years. As the hospitals continue to squeeze the nurses harder and harder um, and have them, have them work with more patients, and more complicated patients all the time. And they're saying they're fed up with that and we need to push back on that. They're proud of it. One of the proposals the hospitals made was to put everybody on call. Okay, I just came off a 10-hour night shift working in the ER's charge nurse. I'm tired. Would you want me to go home and an hour later to call me back in for another eight-hour shift? That's a safety issue. I am very concerned about the cross-campus floating. It's hard enough to um, go to a different unit in your own hospital, let alone go to another hospital you've never been at in your life. If I'm on a unit where I don't know where the supplies are, I don't know where the drugs are, I don't know where the crash cart is, and I, my patient crashes, what am I going to do till somebody comes along to help me? I love everything about my job. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. It's just really hard when we don't have our employers um, support behind us. It just seems that they're so just focused on money and it just makes me sick when you hear how much like our CEO makes and then we get emails about you know how uh, Medicaid is being cut. The situations that we're working in are unsafe for our, ourselves, our patients, our you know visitors that come in. We're so, I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. We're, we're supposed to take care of these patients and we can't even take care of ourselves. It's going to affect our health too because, you know, the high stress is going to wear down our health, you know, as time goes by. and. I, I think it's, it's really cynical of the hospitals to take advantage of a bad economy and say that this is what the market is right now. Nurses are now stepping up, those of us that are actually taking care of patients, and say, if you're going to have this fight, we will take you on. Because our patients are too important, we're not going to walk away, and we will do what we have to do. And if it means walking in the street to make sure you understand that having unsafe conditions in a hospital is unacceptable any place in this country. And I think this is the first one that's going to be uh, the proving ground that this is what you're going to see. We're here. We're voting. We're standing up together. The people united will never be defeated. Maybe try it, but let's try to prove it. Nurses care for their patients. And when they start to make decisions that are will get in the way of them at the bedside providing good care, nurses will fight. <laughs>